hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a battery top in another pattern in another formula and these are the tutorial which i'll be using to draft that the pattern so please keep on watching so to determine the length or, or how to cut out your fabric this is what i use to cut out this pattern paper I use my sleeve, not my sleeve, my sleeve length, yes, which is 11 inches. Then I also use my shoulder to shoulder uh, length, which is uh, level 0.5. So, what I did was I added level 0.5 to my sleeve, level 0.11, give me 22. So, from here, this is my this two inches here is my back panel and it's for my zipper allowance so from here to this place you can see it's 22 inches that's my sleeve length plus my shoulder to shoulder measurement that's what i used to cut it at the width so for the back panel this two inches for the zipper allowance so the length of the blouse what you simply do you calculate the length of glass which you are using and use it to cut out the length so i just told you how to cut out your width of the fabric so now let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do here is i've drawn out a line this line is where i'll start drafting out my pattern you can just it's half an inch from the fabric but i would suggest on your fabric make it one inch when you are putting it on your fabric so but because this my uh, pattern paper is not too much i use half an inch but on the normal circumstances please make yours one inch because you need that space for everything so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do here is this i'm going to take my shoulder to shoulder measurement my shoulder to shoulder is 11.5 divided by 2 what i get is 5.8 so i'll go ahead like this I'm putting 5.8 5.8 here then I will add half an inch for it so after that the next step is I'll put in my front neck width my neck width is 3 inches 3 inches and my front panel depth is four inches i roll it out so i've drawn out my neck so the next thing remember here is my where my shoulder to shoulder and the half of my shoulder to shoulder so at that point here i will now measure out my sleeve my sleeve length is 10 inches plus one inch for sewing allowance is 11 inches so here at this point here I put in 11 inches so that is 11 inches so the next step I'm going to do here here I will now come down by one inch at this spot here come down by one inch the next step is to connect where my shoulder ends, half of my shoulder from here to here for my shoulder slope. So the next step is to now put in my straight measurements. So from here, from here to there, from here to my bust is seven inches. I mark it. From there to my under bust is nine inches. And from there to my waist is 16 inches. So I will now rule it out horizontally this way and this way and this way. So the next step is I will now mark out my measurement so I won't forget. So here is under boss. Here is boss point. Sorry. And here is under boss and here is my waist 
So the next step I'm going to do now is to now put in my round body measurement. My round body measurement for my bust point is 33 inches. You divide by 4, I get 8.3. So at my bust point, I'll put in 8.3, yeah, like so. From here, I'll put in 8.3. Then my under bust is 27 inches, divide by 4, I get 6.3. So from here, I put 6.3, yeah, like so. Then my waist round is my waist round is at three inches divided by four. What I get is eight point three. I go here like this. I put eight point three. So the next step I'm going to do so to create the back width to, uh, length sleeve. So from here, remember here is the sleeve length. I will now. Draw a line from straight line from here to my under boss. So remember, here is my under boss. So I'll now create connect a dot from here to my under boss here, like so. So, so from here. So from here to so this place is my sleeve. So because this place is so sharp, I'm going to connect a cuff from here like this. You create a cuff because our body is not sharp like that. So you can see that the batwing top is showing from there. So the next step is for the length of the blouse, you have two inches under the waist. This is two inches here. From here you have two inches. You bring it down. Then you now draw a line under like so so you use your curve ruler to create a curve in this place just make it curvy because our body is not curvy you know just make it a curvy side just create a curve here you can see the curve so yeah, also make here a covid aspect as well. So my friends, you can see the curve is out. So now let's go to the neck. Remember the neck back back width is gonna be one and a half inches. So from here. I'll go like this for the back. I'll create a curve of one of the half inches. Then create a curve from here, like so. Like so from here. So this one will be for the back. So the next thing is, is to add your sewing allowance. So from here, I'm going to add one inch for my sewing allowance. I'll just follow the curve of this blouse. I had one inch, one inch. I just follow the curve, one inch. One inch, one inch. You see the way I'm following the curve to add one inches to it. Now I'm, go I'm going to connect the, connect the dot from there to there to there.
so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to cut out the shape so i'm going to start cutting from here this way this way this way and this way and this way straight down this way and i cut at the back this way from here so i've trimmed the shape on this side so before i forget remember you're going to add this side to the back panel so please remember to add your half an inch to it so you can get your right measurements so from here remember to add half an inch here you just follow the shape add half an inch half an inch follow the shape of the shoulder slope because you're going to add the back panel and the front panel together remember to follow the shape and add your half an inch to it follow the shape of the shoulder slope because you're going to add this back panel and the front panel together so i will continue my cutting so i'm going to cut from here i've cut the side cut from here Cut at the front neck, the back neck first. I'll take off the pins. I'll take away the front panel. Sorry, friends, it's just been covered. So I'm going to cut off the front panel's neck. Like so. I'm going to cut from here to there. Let's see, I'm going to open it up. So this is the back panel. My friends, this is the back panel and the front panel attached together. You can see the shape goes in closely to your from your underboss to your waist and you can see this is the bat wing um, top here bat wing sleeve sorry so you know on your fabric if you want you can make your bat wing to start from your waist it depends on how you actually want it you can make your bat wing to start from here you just draw it like this to start from here or you simply let it start from under boss or two inches after your under boss it totally depends on your choice and if for example you want to add uh, like a flare you can add your flare under this place just on, from your waistline here you can add your flare to it so it depends on how you how you want it so I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share my video. So for now, one love and one peace. So bye for now.